Glory to Jesus. Aha, aha. Yes, karibu sana, karibu sana wherever you are. Welcome. Mm, to our tonight broadcast. It is such a night. We're going to unseal the book of Daniel starting from chapter number 1 to all the way to chapter number 12. So don't miss this one. Karibu sana wherever you are. Karibisha mwenzako. Tag your friend. Help me to share creator watch party. Wacha tubarikiwe pamoja in the name of Jesus. It is such a great night. The book of Daniel is a very interesting book. Na kuna mobbing sana tasoma. Kwa hivyo wherever you are niambi kwa wapi. Asante kwa wale bwana ingia. Mungu abarik sana. Uh, help me to share a tag your friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Masay memes. Ah, Yoranda. Faith Abidin. Nalia bido meja mabema sana. Karibu sana. Help me to share, help me to share, tag your friend. Hey, na doka sere umeingia mabema. Mabema sana leo. Hey, sija sijaona umeza yako ingia mapema. Karibu sana Win Maina. So we are in the book of Daniel chapter number 1. We are sitting the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter number 1, Daniel chapter number 2, chapter number 3, chapter number 4 to chapter number 12. We are going to study a lot of lot of prophetic things. Na mambo yatatujenga kiroho sana. Kwa hivyo don't miss this one. Wa Priscilla, karibu sana, karibu sana. Tag your friend, call your friend, mwambie kuja tubarikiwe. Tuko Daniel chapter number one. Tuko Daniel chapter number one. Daniel chapter number one. Ah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Tunaingia the book of Daniel. Just think. Hita hikaribu sana. Don't miss as we begin the book of Daniel. A very interesting book by the way. Tag your friend. Tag your friend. Hey, tell Afiko wambia kuja selewe. Noni noni. <laughs> Eva jarisuma hiko ita watu wazima man. Wambia wakuje. Tuko Daniel chapter number 1. Tunaenda mpaka chapter number 12. Yes. Then tukimalizia Daniel tunaenda Genesis or Song of Songs. Aha. Karo Muridi, karibu sana, karibu sana wherever you are, karibu sana. Wacha tu MC. <laughs> karibu sana, karibu sana. MC Charo Sounds anasema kwamba kwa ndani kabisa. Yeah, help me to share if you want share, help me to share. Create a watch party. Create a watch party. Share kwa watu kadhaa, wacha tubarikiwe pamoja. Ah. Ay 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 ay. Na na watu na complain na sema kati jana ati tsamo ni aona ni ilikuwa fupi sana. Tunati sheria, tunaambia kwamba tunaenda wana hawa. But I'm planning ya kwamba nikimaliza ile ya nini ya church. Tunakuja safisi ya online, tunaenda masao at least mingi. Sababu unakuta kwamba unakimbia sana na you are loaded you have a lot. So I'm planning ya kwamba after that uko tunakuwa na time nzuri sana tunakuwa na baadaye i'm planning that napanga hiyo kwa hivyo karibu sana wherever you are if how to share help me to share if how to share help me to share the book of daniel the book of daniel the book of daniel niambie uko wapi niambie uko wapi unanitegea ukiwa wapi unanifuatilia uko wapi wacha tubarikiwe sana yes share to your friend share to those groups wacha wabarikiwe na wewe Manake utalipoa <laughs> lazima utalipoa It is not in vain Evangelis Michael de share it Evangelis Steve mwambie kuje <laughs> eh, Yes Yes Sofia Wairimu how are you doing <clears throat> If how de share ni saidie ku share Ah, Eraija. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. And niambie ndo nitakayo kuwa wapi? Niambie ndo nitakayo kuwa wapi? Thank you for those who are sharing. Thank you for those who are sharing. God bless you. God bless you. If bado how the share help me to share. Help me to share if how the share. Uh, tag your friend, create a watch party. 
very important oh wow <laughs> ah mc charo nasema kwamba kwa kikuyu sambezi mwadhoni karibu sana karibu sana karibu sana very important book saidia watu wengi sana waelewe kitabu wasaidie waelewe kitabu maana ni muhimu sana mm. <laughs> aha, aha. Tunaingia ndani ya chapter number 1 na moto. <laughs> Lazima tuijaribu kuipeleka side hii tupeleke side nyingine. Saidia mtu mmoja tag watu watano tag watu 20. Eh hey, hey, then saidia watu kadhaa wabarikiwe. Ukibarikiwa maana hiki ni kitabu very interesting. There are some lessons we are going to learn from the book of Daniel. So we are in Daniel chapter number 1. Lazima tumalize chapter number 1. Tomorrow tuko chapter chapter number 2. Aha. Wednesday tuko chapter number 3. Kila siku tunatambua chapter moja Kila siku chapter moja Kila siku chapter moja Mai, mm, mai, 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 mai. Get out M. Steve Ita watu wa wetaidye Ita wote wa tag Tag group zoza wa wetaidye <laughs> hey, Nitia watu wa Seattle Watu wa Seattle Are you here? Washington UK Sija mwana Watu wa uh, Saudi, Saudi Doha watu wa Israel watu wa nini <laughs> Mola gonia bonanza sana karibu sana nitagie <laughs> farudi mwambie kuje tuanze Daniel <laughs> Yes this is the time this is the time this is the time I have come at one minute I have come one minute kama one minute If kuna mtu ambao unataka tuanzie pamoja na Lord Mutag, Mas Queen Mutag, mwambie kuje yule ambaye haja nini. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you Eunice. Karibu sana. Zima man, watu 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 wa kama rukijaona, watu mmoja sijaona. Watu wa Donholm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Wow wow kuna watu wananiambia mzee ananiambia kwamba anapenda sana the book of Daniel. Wacha tuende sasa by the way. So get ready get ready. That is a cost to go we pray. That is a cost to go now. Hallelujah. Baba tunakupa sifa. Wewe unastahili kuinuliwa, unastahili kusifiwa. Hakuna kama wewe Bwana. Ni wewe baba tegemeo letu. Ni wewe baba kimbilio. Ni wewe baba umesimama nasi. Umesimama baba na maisha yetu. Umetupiga nia kila vita. We have seen the goodness of God. We have seen the glory. We have seen the anointing. Wewe ni njia kwetu. Wewe baba ni ukweli kwetu. Ni wewe baba umetenda makubwa Bwana. Kama si wewe baba tungelemewa. Mari we have seen Jehovah God. Umetupiga nia vita. Familia zetu umesimama nazo Bwana. Tuko ndani yako uko ndani yetu tunaamini kwamba hatutawailemewa tunaamini kwamba shetani ako chini ya miguu yetu tunaamini magonjwa yako chini ya miguu yetu tunaamini laana ziko chini ya miguu yetu tunaamini majini yako chini ya miguu yetu tunaamini ndoto zote mbaya ziko chini ya miguu yetu bwana tunaamini tunaposoma neno hiyo hata baba anafuatilia mawazo yamefunguka mio imefunguka bwana badilisha mio yetu bwana tuumbie mio ya safi tuumbie mio ya safi jehova god tuumbie hata mawazo bwana create nazo lo Oh, clean heart oh God. Wacha neno lako likatuosha Bwana. Neno lako limaji linapoingia ndani linatuosha. Tunaamini baba neno lako linatuosha Bwana. Tunapotabua kitabu cha Danieli. Tunaamini kwamba ushindi unadhihirika vile ulipigania kina Danieli Bwana. You are the same God who changes not all. Vile ulikuwa ndivyo ulivyo na ndivyo baba utabaki kuwa. Tunatangaza baba nguvu zako zionekane. Let your presence manifest all. Let your power manifest all. Oh Let your healing manifest. Let your deliverers manifest all in Jesus mighty name wale bwa wana nguvu through this word wanatao wanapata nguvu bwana wale bwa melemewa through this word baba unawainua wale bwa unahitaji promotion baba through this word utowapea promotion wale bwa unahitaji waajiliwe through this word baba wanaajiliwa tunakutukuza tunakuinua kwa maana umetenda unazidi kutenda katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na hata kuamini amen 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 Yes. Karibu sana tuko pale kwenye Book of Daniel. Tuko kwenye Book of Daniel, Book of Daniel. Asante kwa wale ambao umeingia, asante kwa wale ambao wanazidi kuingia. 
Sana kwa rebo wanazidi kukiretu watch parties pale. Sana kwa rebo wanashare. God bless you so much. Tuko kwenye book of Dani. A very interesting book. And get your Bible. And your notebook and your pen. Mary Mira, get, to write, get ready to write now. Maneka tunachambua the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel. The book of Daniel. The book of Daniel. Chapter number one. Daniel chapter number one. Daniel yuko kati ya major prophets. Yeah. Daniel chapter number one. Get your Bible as we read now. Daniel chapter number one. I like the book of Daniel. If kuna kitabu na pena sana, it is a book of Daniel. Chapter number one and verse number one. The Bible says in the third year of the reign of Joy Kim, king of Judah, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem and besieged it. And the Lord delivered Joy Kim, king of Judah, into his hand, along with his some of the articles from the temple of God. These he carried off to the temple of his God in Babylon and put in the treasures of his God. Verse number three. Then the king ordered Aspenath, the chief of his court officers, and to bring in some of the Israelites from the royal from the royal family, and the no and the nobility young men without any physical defect had some showing up to you for every kind of learning, well informed, quick to understand. Qualified to serve in king's palace. He was to teach them. I like this. He was to teach them language and literature of the Babylonians. Okay, verse number five. The king assigned them a daily amount of food and wine from the king's table. They were to be trained for three years. And after that, they were to enter king's service. Verse number six, seven. Among these were some from Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, Azariah, the chief officer gave them new names. To Daniel, the name Berzada, to Hananiah, Shadrach, to Mishael, Mishek, and to Azariah, Abednego. Okay, but Daniel resolved not to defile himself with royal food and wine. He asked the chief official for permission not to defile himself in this way. Okay, verse number nine. Now God has caused, I like verse number nine. Na wakati nasoma, may verse number nine manifest in your life in Jesus' mighty name. And God has caused the official to, to show favor and sympathy to Daniel. Mungu alikuwa mekos, jure mkubo o, akuwa na favor na Daniel. God caused that. Yani mungu wakapea favor Daniel. Na yule mkubwa wao. Ah, may God cause favor to manifest everywhere you go. May God cause favor to manifest kwa kila dimension in your life in Jesus mighty name. What's an official verse number 10? Neba bwana sema namna gani? But officer told Daniel, I am afraid of my lord the king who has assigned you food and drink. Why should he see you looking worse than other young men of your age? The king would then have my head because of you. That's it. That's it. Karibu sana mahari popoto lipo. Tunachamua the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel is a very interesting book. Na Daniel ambaye kuna semekana kwa ba nyeye ariandika the book of Daniel. Arikuwa Babylon alikuwa ametekwa nyara pamoja na the king called Jehoiakim Jehoiakim ni vyema sana mimi kwa watu ambao hawajui history kidogo ni vyema sana uanda sana kwamba juda ilitekwa nyara na Nebuchadnezzar na watu wa juda wakapelekwa Babylon are you hearing this pastor Moridi wakapelekwa Babylon so juda walipelekwa Babylon but hawakupelekwa wote pamoja at once no walipelekwa in stages Walipelekwa in stages. Wale bwana understand Bible, you understand. 
in 605 BC Nebukadnezar alitaka nara Jehoiakim na kina Daniel na vijana wengine walikuwa na wao wakawapeleka pale Babylon hiyo ni grupu ya kwanza ilitekwa nyara 605 BC very important then 597 BC 597 BC mfalme ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Jehoiakim na yakatekwa nyara grupu ingine ikatekwa nyara 597 BC nimesema ni grupu satu walipelekwa pale Babylon in levels level ya kwanza au grupu ya kwanza ile ilikuwa na kina Jehoiakim na kina Daniel na kina Hanania na kina Azaria na vijana wengine walitekwa nyara from Jerusalem wakapelekwa Babylon 605 BC then 597 BC grupu ingine akina Jehoiakim kin wakate kwa nyara wakapelekwa Babylon hiyo ni grupu ya pili nao alafu grupu ya tatu 586 BC 586 BC kuna grupu ilipelekwa mahali pale tako nifuate alafu you understand Jerusalem temple ikawa destroyed that was 586 BC three groups three levels watu wakapelekwa Babylon why maana it was prophesied that is on why walipelekwa Babylon ni kwa maana kila mwaka wa saba hawakuwa nafaa kulima shamba kabis mwaka wa saba hawakuwa nafaa kulima ile shamba bali wana Waisraeli walikosa kuwa na ile sabbatical year magara kwa sababu kwa bible there is what we call sabbatical year mashamba wa kilima mwaka wa kwanza mwaka wa pili paka mwaka wa sita mwaka wa saba hawakuwa nafaa kulima but wao for 70 years hawakuacha mwaka wa saba nataka nisikize for 70 years miaka saba haikuwa plate hiyo ilikuwa ni kama 490 years miaka 490 years hawakuwa wameacha mwaka wa saba that's why Mungu alisema kwamba hizo saba zote lazima sasa Mungu azichukue that's why walipelekwa Babylon kwa hivyo hapa Danieli ako Babylon na wako na mfalme ambaye anaitwa Jehoiakim na Biblia inasema kwamba mwaka wa tatu wake alitekwa nyara kitawala imagine ni mfalme anatawara alafu ametekwa nyara kuwa na tawara so akasimamisha uongozi wake akawa hawezi endelea na uongozi wake amepelekwa Babylon mark that na sio hivyo paka articles zile ziko kwa temple zikachukuliwa meza ya mikate ikapelekwa Babylon mtu wa mataa lampstand ikapelekwa Babylon the altar of incense mahali uvumba ilikuwa inachomewa ikapelekwa Babylon brass rava mahali pa repentance mahali pa renewal paka preko Babylon so hata ikiwa umeitwa pale Jerusalem how gain joy kwa temple maneka hakukua na zile articles za kule ndani Haungeza kuenjoy bread and wine holy communion. Haungeza kuenjoy light kwa sababu lamp stand ilichukuliwa. Haungeenjoy maombi. Maneka the altar of incense ilichukuliwa. And I was me to understand hivyo ndivyo shetani amefanya. Kuna watu ambao as we are talking, watu ambao wanisikiza, kuna watu ambao maombi yao yameibua na shetani they cannot pray. So Nebukadnezar wakati alienda mahali pale Jerusalem kwa temple alichukua the altar of incense anazuilia watu wale kuofa incense na incense in a picture prayer so hawangeweza kuomba maneka incense kwa old testament ambayo ina picture prayer imechukuliwa how many people listening to me na maombi imeibiwa they cannot pray for two minutes they cannot pray for two days they cannot pray for three days kuna watu ambao wanamkumbuka wakiwa kazini kwamba they have not prayed why The altar of incense hayonekani it is my prayer tunapochambua the book of daniel ai maombi yako hayataibiwa what about holy communion holy communion holy communion but it is very very important it is very very important to understand this Maneke Bible inaelezea vizuri sana. Na kile Bible inasema ni kwamba hizo vitu vilibiwa. Na vikaenda Babylon. The table of the show bread. The table of the show bread. Hakuna holy communion. Hakuna ilibiwa. 
Not only that, takoni fuatilie lamp stud, light revelation. Hakukuwa na light kwa tempo. Remember we are the light of the world. Na hakuna kitu kinafaa kufunika. So hizo hizo vitu vyote vilikare kwa Babylon. So the book of Daniel, nisikize sasa. Wakati sasa Daniel anaandika, tunaona Jehoi Kim. Tunaona Jehoi Kim, mfalme ametekwa nyara. Ametekwa nyara. But it is good to understand, maneke vile story yake imeelezwa Jeremiah ni totally different kidogo. Kwa sababu ha, kwanza kwanza ni vema kwa understand kwanza aliyebua lazima ati alipewa mambo bota ti after kukosa kuti sasa akatekwa nyara kabisa is good wana sana kuna vile sasa alikuwa anamrushwa fanye mambo bao sasa yanafaa kufuatilia but alipokosa kufuatilia nao akatekwa nyara sa kile kile ni stua alitekwa nyara na watu ambao ni wazuri akina daniel akina daniel and that's why today tumekuja hapa kuchomboa nao the book of daniel inaongea juu ya wakati walitekwa nyara but before tuanze kuchambua kwa sababu bado hatujaanza kuchambua lazima tuangalie book of daniel imeonyesha kristo the book of daniel imeonyesha kristo kwa dimension tano the book of daniel we can see christ in the book of daniel wacha tuanze tuangalie tunamwona kristo na dimension gani number one. Number one. Hago nisikize hapa number one. Ukisoma the book of Daniel kuanzia chapter number one to chapter number 12, unaweza Kristo. For example, in Daniel chapter number 9, verse number 25 and verse number 26, we can see the death of Christ equal mentioned in that verse. Hago nifuatilie. Daniel chapter number 9, verse number 25 to verse number 26. We can see the first pointer of the death of Jesus Christ in the book of Daniel. So meaning the book of Daniel in kuonyesha the death exactly the time Jesus Christ alikufa kwa msalaba. By the ukihesabu mahesabu kwa sababu tutahesabu tukifika hapo the exact time Daniel al prophesy Yakoba the Messiah atakuwa cut off. That time alisema kwamba atauliwa was the exact time aliuliwa meaning in the book of Daniel we can see the death of Jesus Christ I remember the death of Jesus Christ is our death Woo! The death of Jesus Christ is your death The resurrection of Jesus Christ is your resurrection so when you see the death of Jesus you see your death when you see the resurrection of Jesus Christ you see your resurrection Yes. Meaning the book of Daniel in the the death of Jesus Christ. Daniel 9:25 and 26 we can see a pointer to the death of Jesus Christ. Why death of Jesus Christ? Death of Jesus in the dhambi. So Daniel in the vile Jesus. Arakuja kulipia dhambi vile Jesus atakuja kufe na ripia dhambi. That's it. That's the number one. That's the number one. Hiyo ni jambo la kwanza limenenoa in the book of Daniel. Death of Jesus. I believe kwamba kuna mtu ambaye atatusaidia hapa at least ku post hiyo verse ili watu wafuatilie vizuri sana. Na thank you kwa labda unaingia. Thank you. Ndio maana kuna mtu mpaka wa Botswana. Botswana God bless you. Tumesema point number one. Jesus Christ unamwona, tunaona kifo chake in the book of Daniel. Number two. Number two. Number two. Kuna jambo lingine tunaona in the book of Daniel. Appearing of Jesus Christ or coming of Jesus Christ. The second coming of Jesus Christ. Another going to get the second coming of Jesus Christ. Yes. In the book of Daniel, we can see the second coming of Jesus Christ. Number one, we can see death of Jesus Christ in the book of Daniel, and number two, we can see the second coming of Jesus Christ in the book of Daniel. Ni wapi tunaweza second coming of Jesus Christ in the book of Daniel? It is Daniel chapter number 2, verse 34 and verse number 35. And then verse 45 Daniel 2 verse 34 and verse number 5 Remember kuna ile image Nebukadnezar aliona kwa ndoto then what happened 
akaona stone kubwa ambayo haijakatwa mikono ya binadamu ikaja ikagonga hiyo image ikaharibu remember hiyo image inasimamia several kingdoms four kingdoms na still inasimamia ten toes na ten toes remember the ten toes ni yale mataifa yataconnect time ya antichrist na kile kiliharibu remember kwanza bible haisemi jiwe linagonga kichwa no jiwe linagonga miguu Rigonga the ten nations zile zitakuja after the rapture of the church nitaelezea tukifika hapo kumaanisha jiwe linaonekana pale it is Jesus Christ ambaye after the rapture of the church him miaka saba after him miaka saba second coming atakuja na ataharibu zile falme zitakuwa zinatawara hapa kumaanisha kwamba in the book of Daniel chapter number 2 the stone ambayo inakuja na inaharibu hiyo image kuanzia kwa miguu ten nations it is a picture of second coming of Jesus Christ wakati atakuja after miaka saba ya great tribulation time atakuja ataharibu falme we can see the second coming in the book of Daniel hallelujah so we can see death of Jesus in the book of Daniel We can see second coming in the book of Daniel. Ah, shabarobo zara. Number three. Number three. Woo! Shekarama. Nimsa na sema kwamba twende pole pole. Sina haraka nimsa hata sikibii, sitakibia. Ah, nimeongea tu maneno mawili, nimesema number one. In the book of Daniel we can see the death of Jesus Christ. Then we can see number 2 in the book of Daniel we can see second coming of Jesus Christ. Nimeongea tu maneno mawili. Wale bwana wageni hatujaanza sana tumesoma tu hapo. Hatujaanza hata kitabu cha Daniel na highlight na summarize Christ in the book of Daniel. Naoneshana Christ in the book of Daniel. Kristo tunamwona namna gani in the book of Daniel. Hayo ndio nasamarize. Tumesema na born the death. Na dani tumeipata wapi? Kwa sababu maybe umeingia sasa tumesema kwa ma death. Tumeiona kwa in the book of Daniel 9 and 26 the death. Then to know the second coming of Jesus Christ in the book of Daniel. That's Daniel 2 34 and that 5 and verse number 45. Number 3 Jambo la tatu naona juu ya ya Kristo in the book of Daniel. Don't miss this one. Jambo la tatu naiona kwenye book of Daniel, Kristo. Aha. Listen to this. Tunaona Jesus Christ as the son of God. Jesus Christ as the son of God. Jesus Christ as the son of God. <laughs> Who comes to receive dominion and kingdom? Jesus Christ as a son of man. Let me just put it that. Jesus Christ as a son of man who comes to the throne to receive dominion and kingdom. Yes. To know Jesus Christ as son of man ambaye anapewa dominion and kingdom. That's it. That's it. Angalia you now that's Daniel 7 13 and 14 Thank you referred <laughs> Pastor Peter Muhoro from Kerenyaga Pefa Church So number three, we can see son of man Jesus Christ as son of man ambaye anakuja ku receive dominion and kingdom dominion and kingdom That's it That's Daniel chapter number 7 verse 13 and 14. Rata goma can you hear this now? That's number 3. Son of man ambaye amekuja ku receive kingdom and dominion. So that's another aspect to Isaiah on a part in the book of Daniel. Then number 4, then number 4. We can see the excellency of Christ. Excellency of Christ. Woo! Hallelujah. Excellency of Christ. In Daniel chapter number 10, verse 5 and 
the excellency of Jesus Christ. We can see the revelation of his excellency in Daniel chapter number 10, verse 5 and 6. The excellency of Jesus Christ. Daniel 10, verse number 5 and 6. You can see the excellency of Jesus Christ. You need a mission again at Jesus to Nezamwana in the book of Daniel. You can see now the book of Daniel. Christ in the book of Daniel, his excellency. In Daniel 10, 3, 5 and 6. Sarah Nekasa, I brief touch up. Then, number 5, Nehamusho. Number 5. Number five. Thank you, Master Queen. You're doing a great job. Yeah, to know show Jesus Christ, very God, a conalinen, excellency of Jesus Christ. Death number one, second coming number two. Number three, son of man, I receive kingdom and dominion. Then number four, excellency of Jesus Christ. And number five. Now this one, don't miss it. Woo! <laughs> ah, we can see Jesus Christ as a fourth man in the book of Daniel. Jesus Christ as a fourth man in the book of Daniel. Ambayana as a companion of the suffering witnesses of God. Ni companion ya watobo wana suffer because of witnessing God. Ni companion. Companion. Can you imagine? As a fourth man, komoto, and by the companion, our tombo and a saba, because of him, and a dionesha, koma tombo and a saba, komana mesimama na his testimony, and a simama, no a tombo na pitia bomazito, just because of mekatama badunia, and a dionesha as a fourth man, koma tombo. Wameweko kwa moto kwa mwana mekata kuina mia miungu ya dunia. Ana dionyesha mahali pale as companion. Kwa watu wabu they are suffering because of witnessing. Let me tell you, once you witness it kingdom, once you preach about Jesus, in that suffering, lazima ta manifest. Wakatu mainukiwa because of the gospel, he will manifest. Wakatu me kuwa abused. Wakatu mengiliwa. Wakatu me tukano because of the gospel. Let me tell you, Christ. Woo! <laughs> and Dionysia as the fourth man. As a companion of the suffering witnesses of God. Kwale bona sava ana dionesha pale and I declare today prophetically kwa hiyo situation na pitia may Jesus Christ manifest kwa that situation wakati kuna covid may Jesus Christ manifest and he manifest kama for the man kwa to mother we are suffering because of him aka dionesha maneke once you suffer because of the gospel lazima ata manifest once you suffer kama umekata mambo ya dunia ata manifest so you need to mention in Guinea in the book of Daniel to the Mwana. Aki appear, aki manifest as a fourth man, Mahali Pale. Woo! <laughs> See, aki was stagnant. They were walking. They were, ah! They were not limited. They were not broke. Aki appear, they were walking in the fire. When at wako kwa moto, nisikize, but they were walking in the fire. Manaka waka Jesus Christ about the manifest. Uneza kuwa dan ya moto, but you're not stagnant. You are still walking. Uneza kuwa inside the fire, but you are still walking. Come on. You are not stagnant. You are still walking. And I mean, you You may be in the fire, but you still be walking. They cannot stagnate you. They cannot limit you. Praise God. <laughs> Yes, are we together now? Yes, so to men, the book of Daniel, to men, a crystal, quad dimension tano, to men, one quad dimension tano, to men, number one. Tumeona kwamba his death in the book of Daniel. Tumeona his second coming. Tumemwona as son of man. Ambaye anapewa dominion na kingdom in the book of Daniel. 
Tumeona his excellency in the book of Daniel. Na tumemwona kama fourth man ambaye anapia kwa watu wa Bwana Safa because of him. So kuna dimension tano Jesus Christ amekuwa expressed in the book of Daniel. So anytime you read the book of Daniel, you see those dimensions that Jesus in the book of Daniel. But kile ambacho kile ni stubwa na ibrief kila mtu hapa atafikiria naona hivyo. Why Daniel? Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego vile tunawajua. Bona wana serve, bona wao ni wa, ni wazuri. Bible says they were blame, they were blameless by the way. They were without blemish. They were without blemish. But although walikuwa watakatifu, although walikuwa na simama na Mungu, although mpaka Daniel ako kwenye nchi ya Babylon, but anakataa kuingia kwa mwanajisi. So ni kwa najiuliza swali. Kwa nini yeye mwenyewe Mungu aliruhusu Daniel atekwe nyara na ni mtakatifu? Imagine. <laughs> yeah, Daniel chapter number 3. Daniel chapter number 3 and verse number 25. Daniel 3 verse number 25. Daniel 3 verse number 25. Daniel chapter number 3 verse number 25. Daniel 3 verse number 25. Thank you kwa wale boy Kristo wanaandikia watu wale wengine wakija wanafuatilia baadaye. Mungu abariki sana. So the book of Daniel is divided into two. The book of Daniel is divided into two. The first six chapters. The first the first six chapters in Onyesha the victory in the captivity of the young descendants. The victory in captivity ya kina Daniel Shadrach na Abednego the first Daniel chapter number 1 chapter number 2 chapter number 3 chapter number 4 chapter number 5 chapter number 6 in relation to the victory in captivity ya descendant wale ambao ni wa Juda akina Daniel Hanania Azaria Mishaeli victory yao so chapter za kwanza sita zile watu wanasoma sana zinaonyeshana the victory ile ilionekana kwa hawa young men ambao walisimama na Mungu then the next six chapters hizo zingine zina cover over the visions za Daniel about the visions za Daniel ni vision za Daniel chapter number 7 to 12 ni vision za Daniel ziko mahali pale so the first six chapter ni victory ya watu ambao wamesema na Mungu then the last six chapter kati ya wale ambao ni victors wanaonyeshwa mambo ambao yatakuja kufanyika they are divided into two victory six chapters then is is again sita ni vision za Daniel ambaye ameshinda kwenye first chapters kaonyeshwa visions mambo ambayo yatakuja na hivyo ndivyo Mungu anafanya anatupea victory maneke he is victory in us then on the that anatuonyesha mambo ambayo yanakuja anatunenea through visions it is my prayer may the victory of god manifest as we study the book of daniel May the victory of God manifest in your life. May you see visions. Oh my God. So the first six zionesha victory. Although amepitia mamazito, victory imeonekana. Then the last six ni visions za Daniel. Ah. So nataka sasa unitegee. Remember Daniel alitekwa nyara akiwa wa kitu kama 15 to 18 years. Nataka tuelewane. So waka Daniel alitekwa nyara alikuwa wa 15 to 18 years. Mark that imagine. 15 to 18 years. So alikuwa ni kijana bado. Ni kijana bado na ametekwa nyara. Now let me ask you this. Let me tell you something. It's good to understand wakati umesoma Bible, Daniel hakutakuwa nyara tu wakiwa na wale vijana watatu. No. 
kulikuwa na vijana wengine bado hawakusima makama Daniel that's it Daniel shaba kabisha na bed nako walisimama na Mungu that's why wameadiko majini wa mahali pale na tunawasoma wale ambao walikosa ku trust God walisahaurika manake hawakuwa sio wao tu walitakwa nyara the book of Daniel tunaona tu tunaona tu watu wanne watu wanne Daniel Michel Hanania Azaria vijana wanne ndio tunawaona tu imagine na Bible inasema kwamba kulikuwa na wengine kulikuwa na wengine but wao walisahaurika maneke wakati kuko na magumu hawakutazama Bwana wakati kulikuwa na bomu magumu hawakutrust Jehovah God maneke wale bwana kosa kwa mini Jehovah God wanasahaurika wakati kuna kombe let me tell you watu ambao watasimama na Mungu atakukua na magojwa Woo! watu ambao watasimama na Mungu atakukua na vita hawatawahi sahaurika ah, ah there is on why tunon hawa bible ima wa record mpaka majine yao wamekuwa recorded kwa majine yao it is because they stood firm walisimama na Mungu wakati wale wengine walikataa wakati wale wengine walingamia miungu walikataa wakati wale wengine walipo wacha kula wakakula wao walikataa wali papas kwa mioyo yao wanasimama even in babylon in the place of confusion even wako kwa garden na nebukadneza even wakiwekewa asenath awe na wangalia wakisimama no way at a tempo ikiwa haiko karibu even if hawendi kwa budu let me tell you walisema kwamba in this place wametuweka we can still praise god we can still pray we can still worship in a fallen land hata watufungie we can still trust god We have confident our God. Wakasimama na Jehovah in Babylon. Then what happened? Majina yao yamekuwa recorded kwa Bible. Paka wa leo tunawasoma why? Awezi simama na Mungu usahaurike. Awezi simama na Mungu usahaurike. Mm. Ah, shamara boa. Jesus. Remi dikire kwa kile mtu bwana nisikiza. Watu wa Bwana simama na Mungu wakati wa COVID-19 hao mtasahaurika. Watu wa Bwana simama na Mungu hata hata time hakuna pesa hao mtahai sahaurika. No way. Lazima mtakumbukwa. Ba, ba, by the way wanatabuliwa kwa majina yao. They were others. But hatujui majina yao, bara hawa tunajua majina yao. Let me tell you. I declare Mungu afanye jina yako ijulikane. Can you hear me? Mungu afanye jina yako ijulikane. In Sweden jina yako ijulikane. In US jina yako ijulikane. In South Africa jina yako ijulikane. In Nairobi in your county mahali unakaa wacha jina yako ijulikane. Maneke wamekuwa recorded kwa majina yao. Why? Why? Walisimama na Mungu. Wakati watu wale wengine walikuwa naomboleza. Wakati watu wale wengine walikuwa nalia. It's too firm. That's it. Na hao majina yao yakawa recorded. What about us? The same case applies to us. Auta sahaurika. Oh my good God, can I tell you something? Auta sahaurika in the name of Jesus. Kunaweza kuwa na covid bado ukisimama na Jehovah God hautasahaurika come on ah i declare mungu anatabua mpaka your name that's why they are recorded when i say mungu anatujua kwa majina ananijua kama kevas Thank God tumesimama neno Bwana. Wakati kuna COVID umetenga temu yako, umekuja kusikiza the word of God. Ungeenda kusikiza vitu vingine, ungeenda kuwatch movie, but as long as you trust God, as long as you may stand, wale wengine wakijikubali kujipeana kwa NASA, umesimama na neno la Bwana. Come on. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Hautasahaurika. Jina yako itaandikwa kwenye kitabu cha kubukubu na wanda. Bible nasema kwamba in the book of Malachi 316, wakati watu ambao ni watakatifu wale bwana wanamuogopa Mungu wakisema sana wao kwa wao Mungu anasikiza na majina yao yanakuwa recorded recorded kwa kitabu cha kukubukwa It is not in vain Na hautaripo to heaven hapa That's it Hautaripo to heaven utalipo mpaka hapa Listen to my voice. Utalipo mpaka hapa. Listen to my voice. 
utalipo mpaka hapa that's it zoba shoka tarama zanda barovo shara i declare utalipoa mhm awezi tanga tangu yako two hours unakuja kufuatilia mahubiri hapa it is not even to be that lazima utalipoa listen to my voice awezi kuja mahali hapa na wengine wako kazini wanasikiza by the way wako wanaenda wanarudi come on it is not in vain <laughs> la sho garama gotekeza come on i declare lazima mungu atakubuka is good to know that hey shakarobo zekere mazaya now listen to me <laughs> ah Listen to this. So tunaona tunajaribu ku analyze chapter number one kidogo. Chapter one kidogo. Kuna baada ya tatuangalie. Bona. Bona watu ambao ni watakatifu. Na tuone ni watakatifu nisikize. Watu ambao they were royal seed, they were from the royal family. Mwanake bila sema kwamba kina Daniel they were from the royal family. Watu wa royal family meaning watu wa Bona Bu na Bukaneza aliwaitisha Hey, wafundisho mafundisho ya kibabiloni wabadilishwe their thinking the way of thinking wabadilishwe maana kila mafundisho unapewa yana change your mind so kile nabukadnezar alikuwa anafanya alisema tengere watu ambao <laughs> wamesoma watu ambao ni wazuri watu ambao si na gc imagine then wafundisho mafundisho babylon wachinjue thinking yao vile walikuwa nafikiria wabadilishwe vile nafikiria maneka hivyo ndivyo shetani wanafanya even today akibadilisha the way you think amekuweza as a man thinking so he is that's why the first thing alifanya alikuwa anataka kufanya kwa kinyanya daniel na shada kamisha na bednego ni yakoba ni wafundishwe can you hear this wabadilishwe mawazo yao maana kishatani akibadilisha mawazo yako anajua amekuweza but we thank god we have the mind of christ and i want to declare mawazo yako hayatabadilishwa na mambo ya dunia mawazo yako hayatabadilishwa come on ah that's it but nataka tujiulize swali moja bona daniel ni mtakatifu na amepitia mama zitu. Yes. Bwana Daniel ni mtakatifu na Mungu amekubarisha yale mambo. Apitie. Na ni mtakatifu na Mungu amekubarisha apele kwa Babylon na ni mtakatifu. Nataka nikupe sababu kama saba. Kwa nini Daniel arakiwa ni mtakatifu Mungu alikubarisha atekwe nyara apele kwa Babylon? And I'll tell you and I'll let you know this. Kuna mambo Mungu anaweza kubarisha ya kuje kwako. Ara ukiaombea. That's it. <laughs> sahi, sahi Mungu ametukubarisha. Amekubarisha kile kimefanyika hapa kizuri by the way. Kwa sababu ni amekubarisha. Let me tell you. Hata huyo mfalme tunasoma hapo to Hakim. Mambo nasema kwamba Mungu alimpeana kwenye mikono. So Mungu angekataa kumpeana. Bali ni Mungu alimpeana so ni Mungu aliruhusu Mungu akikosa kuruhusu hakuna kitu kimbaya by the way kinaweza fanyika Bali kuna time Mungu anaruhusu mambo yatendeke Mambo mengine covid anakubali covid tumeomba bali still covid iko na Mungu amekubalisha tu and he is still God Usaba hiyo bwana umegozeka na umeomba umefast kumeitano outer call umemwagiriwa mpaka mafuta umekula holy communion hata umebatizwa but you are still sick Mungu anakubarisha mambo mengine ya kuje kwako anayekubarisha tu Kwa nini Mungu anakubarisha mambo ya kuje Why Why Ebe majin Daniel hakuwa na lawama na yeye anapitia yale mambo ya watu ambao wanatambi wanapitia kama si sasa si ni wa Kristo tunaomba Maana unakuta kwamba kuna issues tunapitia kwa nini Mungu amekubarisha tuangalie Daniel kidogo Ah uh, number one, number one. Mbu tuangalie zo zo Daniel kuwa pale Babylon inaonekana kana kwamba ni laana 
kwa Daniel kwa Babylon excuse it was a blessing hey, hey. kwa Babylon miskize it was a blessing to Daniel it was a blessing yes in the place of confusion yes at the king abadi mbaya but still here in Babylon here kwa mtakatifu haikuwa rana kwake it was a blessing let me repeat again it was not a curse kwa Daniel kuwa pale Babylon it was a blessing here kwa hapo yes why was in in Babylon gift yake ilichipuka ikaanza kufanya kazi in Babylon anaanza ku interpret dreams in Jerusalem he was not interpreting dreams but zile situation circumstance zile zilikuja Babylon baba alimfungua by the way as chapter number 1 eggs utakuta kwa baba aliwapea akawapea discernment akawapea gift akawapea knowledge na akasaidia ku understand that's it so kwa hiyo hali ilikuwa ni baraka kwake so yeye kwa Babylon ilikuwa ni baraka hey. Eh, hey, kwa sababu gift yake ilianza kufanya kazi in Babylon. Can I tell you something? Wewe kuwa ndani ya COVID-19. It is not a curse. It is a blessing to you. Ah, and I want to tell you the way Babylon in return kusaidia Daniel akaanza ku minister gift zake zikaanza ku manifest. I want to declare wakati unapitia mambo mazito kuna kitu kinachipuka. Kuna gift zinafunguka. Kuna level nyingine unapanda. So Daniel gift zake zilianza ku manifest in Babylon. Ugesema ni rana, but it was a blessing. <laughs> ah, who is reasoning to me now? It was a blessing. That's it. Yet go without blemish. Barua yake nako Babylon ako Babylon. Usaye na wewe huo na fast. Unafunga. Na unasikia kwamba unaona kuna shida why this? Bwana hata mimi nimefungiwa nyumba na wenye dhambi. Wenye dhambi uko kwa nyumba, mimi niko kwa nyumba. Lockdown inakujia watakatifu na si watakatifu. Lockdown inakujia wale ambao hawaendi church na wale wanaenda church. Why this? Daniel in Babylon. Can you hear me? Daniel in Babylon. Woo! But Daniel in Babylon. Weka Daniel in Babylon. You cannot lock Daniel in Babylon. Ukiweka Daniel in Babylon, instead of rocking him, you are unlocking gifts. Hey, can I tell you? Shetani atastuka sana. Maana kwa the more of clear na leta lockdown. The more of clear kwamba watu wanazidi kuwa positive, the more watu wa Mungu wanakuwa stronger and stronger by the way. The more na grow from one level to another. That's it. Maana kwa in that situation you are in, I declare the blessing of God lazima ita manifest. They may put you in Babylon. Shetani anazaleta issues in your family. And as there are issues kama hadi nafanyia kazi. But let me tell you it is not a curse. It is a blessing on your side. You are not cursed. No 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 no. You are blessed already. So anything inakuja kwako it is a blessing. <laughs> in lockdown kuna watu watakuwa wajiristi. In lockdown kuna watu wanaokoka. In lockdown kuna watu wanaoa. In lockdown kuna watu akamoa. In lockdown kuna watu biashara zinapanuka. In lockdown baba nakupea connections manake aweziweka Daniel in Babylon. Ukimweka Daniel in Babylon ataanza ku interpret gifts. Ukimweka Babylon ataanza kuwa prime minister. <laughs> come on, come on. Ah, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the first thing you need to understand. Number two, it was a blessing. Here, kuwa Babylon, it was a blessing. Number two, Daniel kuwa Babylon. Daniel kuwa Babylon. He brought the knowledge of the true God to the king. That's number two. He brought the knowledge of the true God. To the king, that's it. That's it. Ha ha ha. Yeah 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 yeah. Yes. Remember, I interpreted dream. Yeah, the Bukaneza. The Bukaneza can do the true God because of Daniel. 
So Daniel kuwa Babylon kumemsaidia <laughs> kuleta knowledge ya true God mahali pale. Sisi kwa kwenye lockdown kumesaidia watu wa Bwana hapa kwa Facebook kuokoka. Kumesaidia watu wa Bwana hapa kwa Facebook kujua Bible mahali wako wanajua. Kujua kile ambacho wanafaa kujua. Ai. Ah. So true God alijulikana wakati Daniel alikuwa Babylon. Let me tell you, wakati kuna COVID-19, true God atajulikana. Ah, true God, the true gospel itajulikana. Maneka this is the time we are preaching the true gospel. The knowledge of the true God alijulikana kwa Nebukadnezar. Remember Darius the king? Can you remember that? Aka rukuli sema kana watu wasiombe mtu mwingine wa mfalme. Daniel akafungua madirisha akaelekeza akajia rain na covenant akajia rain na Jerusalem remember then akashikwa kwa kwenye tudu la simba that night mfalme Darius akafunga akafast imagine king fasting for Daniel king imagine our president Kenya ta fasting for forever oh my good god so the knowledge of the true god na i know you are god i know you are god So the true God are jurikana because I cannot Daniel we are in Babylon. Come on, can I tell you? There is no way to kuhapa. Ni watu wengi sana wajue Mungu. The knowledge of God it jurikana through COVID-19. If if kuna time watu wamehubiri mpaka kwa Facebook ni time ya COVID-19. Maana the knowledge of God through God in jurikana sasa. Situation is getting zinakuja ili Mungu ajulikane. Nazait. Mambo gani unapitia ili Mungu ajulikane? Vita zingine unapitia ili Mungu ajulikane. Battle zingine God ajulikane. Nazait. <laughs> number three. And number three. Number three, the book of Daniel we are reading, eh? The book of Daniel was given in Babylon. Ha ha ha. Zabo sheba rama zetaka. Can you hear and listen to me now? The book of Daniel was given. So this book we are reading, we are studying this book. It was given to Daniel in Babylon. So in Babylon alitoka na kitabu. Magjoroge anasema kwamba amejiona na mimi through this. So kuna kitabu alitoka nacho. Wao wangu ni anasema kwamba I like that one. <laughs> Every margin. Can you just you can you this is sweet. I like that. I like this one. Uh, imagine now the book of Daniel ilipatikana in Babylon. Imagine everybody is thinking, meaning kuna watu wa Bwana toka na vitabu. Kuna watu wa Bwana toka na testimony after COVID-19. Kila situation inatoa kitabu. Sera. <laughs> Kila situation inatoa kitabu. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> kila kila mambo unapitia kila hali unapitia there's always a testimony after that after that after and the bible my dear kuna phrase in the Bible it came to pass it came to pass it will come to pass and when the bible uses that phrase the testimony for us i know there are people listening to me right now <laughs> it is coming to pass and you're coming out with a testimony ya kwamba baba amenipigania baba nimpea kazi mi sijakufa haya mimi naona vitabu the book of daniel ilipatikana in captivity in captivity hey, hey, hey. That's it. <laughs> ah. In captivity, Daniel akawa history maker. <laughs> Maneka in that 
situation you are in there is a testimony coming in that institution you are in right now there is a testimony there is a testimony coming Woo! Hey, hey. there is a testimony coming let me declare once again no coffee there is a testimony alpha there is a testimony Nimse there is a testimony don't lose hope trust in the lord you're fighting battle you are sick you are down financially kuna issues i want to declare there is a testimony there is a book coming in that situation <laughs> Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's it. Look at this now. Number four. In Daniel in Babylon, through his ministry, many people are converted. In Babylon, many people are converted, including King himself, Nebuchadnezzar. Including the king himself, he was converted through the gospel he received from Daniel. Many people were converted. <laughs> Many people were converted through the ministry of Daniel. Many people were converted. So your situation, Mungwari to me, that's why Kubarisha Daniel, I gave Babylon to convert many people. Ah, uh, what about you understand King Cyrus? I'm going to go to the idea when I see the temple. Kuna some kind of steel. You remember, I don't want to skip. You remember in the book of Jeremiah, Mahari Moragoni, you're going to quote. Some of you in the book of Jeremiah, and you're going to add the Kitabu. I don't care, and the Kasasa, and the Kukisoma. Kitupe wapi? Akitupe kwa river Euphrates. Mtu wa Farati. Aliambiwa hivyo, andika hiyo kitabu hiyo message. Afu kuiandika aitupe kwa river Euphrates. It is in the Bible. And that's what happened Jeremiah did you fanyika? Hiyo kitabu ikatupwa kwenye mto Euphrates. Then guess what happened? So when Cyrus King Cyrus alikuja ku attack wakuwa na Darius wakaja ku attack Babylon a mid and Persian waka divert river Euphrates and then kitabu ya Jeremiah ili tupoa kwenye river Euphrates so Cyrus mai pale akapata kile kitabu kwenye ule mto kuna semekana yule bari msaidia ni Daniel kukielewa na akaja kuelewa kwamba atakuja kusaidia watu wa juda kujenga tempo na that's it so meaning Daniel in Babylon ministry yake ilisaidia mpaka Cyrus that's why he was in Babylon that's why you are in that situation. That's why you are fighting those battles. <laughs> then another thing, there is on where come Harry Pale. Get this. It is because after 70 years. Daniel aligoza watu wengi sana out of captivity. Remember ni aliomba na kasema kwamba time inafika nao. Aliongoza kati ya ile group watu ambao walitoka mahali pale, aliongoza watu wakatoka pamoja. Aliomba tamzilisha, sema kwamba now the time is over. Ile miaka ilikuwa imetabiriwa kwa Jeremiah, imeisha, akaomba God, imeisha. Not because of that God stand the heart of King Cyrus wakagua warudi mahali pa wakapa ruhusa warudi Juda Jerusalem because of Daniel al intercede na kaomba watu wakarudi that was the reason why alikuwa mahali pale alikuwa na assignment in Babylon 
And lastly, all things was together for good to them that loves God and are called for his purpose. Hamadhani anaruza kai at the kitabu ilikuwa kwa river. Yes, it is like that. It is like that. Na ilipata pale ilipatikana hapo kwa hiyo kitabu kwa ule mto. Maana ke ukisoma mambo ya Mungu anasitua, mambo ya Mungu yana yanatujenga mpaka anagustua. Unasoma Bible unashitua gai. Iko kwa Bible tu. <laughs> it was exactly like that. So that was the reason why Daniel alipeleka Babylon although he alikuwa mtakatifu. Now that's the reason why hata wewe mwenyewe unapitia mambo magumu although you are born again. Imagine. You should born again but still unapitia issues. So wakati kwa nyara Daniel na wakapeleka mahali pale in Babylon. Na lipopelekwa wakawekwa chini ya Yunak anaitwa Aspenath. Ni alikuwa anaangalia. Aspenath akaangalia akaambua kwamba kati ya watu ambao ni ni Israelite, they are from Judah. Wameletwa hapa, chagua watu ambao na karesarese kadhaa. Angalia watu ambao ni young men na royal, they are from the royal blood. Watu ambao they are entitled kuongoza. Watu ambao na seed ya greatness. Hebu imagine. Watu ambao na rango ni tegee. Watu ambao na bukeneza. Alikuwa anataka watumia. Ah. I know kama kuna watu ambao walikuwa naandika those points at least tusaidie watu ambao watakuja kuingia baadaye. Wataweza kusoma kwa haraka sana hizo point nimetaja pale. Kwa God used Daniel to, re- to read his people out of captivity after the end of the 70 years. That's it. Tukao nitegee nao. Na hapa ndipo nataka hapa nitakatangaza kitu cha maana sana. Sasa tumeona wametekwa na ni watakatifu na Mungu amekubalisha watekwe. Now in Babylon Nebuchadnezzar akaoda ufishi wake mmoja Aspenath wale bomba kwa kinifuatilia Aspenath means what he promotes the spring court and i know to more wamemwagiliwa maji tu siku tubukizwa kwa maji Aspenath anapenda watu mbao hawapendi kuingia deep kwa word of god eh hey, kesho hiyo kuna maswali mengine sasa bwana mungu hii hiyo tumemaliza <laughs> yeah, kafura tuona baadhi atasaidika sana kwa watu ambao wanazidi kuandika haya mambo. Tukiendelea kuchambua Daniel chapter number 1. Tuko still Daniel chapter number 1. Kwanza tume highlight, tumeona Kristo vile anaonekana in the book of Daniel. Then number 2, tumeangalia ni kwa nini watu watakatifu kama kina Daniel. Shadra kamisha kina Benego. Mbona waona ni watakatifu? Wame, Mungu alikubalisha wakuwe pale in Babylon. Na tumeangalia sababu kadhaa zile Mungu alipata kwa nini Mungu aliruhusu sasa na tumeona kwa nini Mungu anakubalisha hata saa hii tukubwa na issues za covid 19 and we are righteous tumeona sana nataka tuangalie mambo kadhaa ni ya kina nani Nebuchadnezzar alikuwa anatumia aone skize namba 1 nimeangalia point tano Jesus Christ in Daniel then point kama sita kwa nini Daniel na wale wengine watakatifu walikuwa wametekwa nyara mahali pale. They had an assignment. Then number three, nataka tuangalie ni ya kina nani mfalme Nebukadnezar alikuwa anataka kutumia kuti benefit kwa ufalme wake. Kuna point tano unafaa ya kuna point ya yeah, yeah, ni point tano. Point tano unafaa ku understand. Number one. Number one, if kutupa moja, niambie tuko pamoja mpaka hapo. As we continue if tuko pamoja niambie tuko pamoja alafu tunaendelea wacha nini watu kama wanne hapa Alafu nikupe point zingine tano hapa ni ya kina nani sasa hapa Yes Saraimi anasema kwamba ako anasikiza sana 
na wale wanataka zile kare sarisa ndao kuonyesha sus blessed zimekuwa recorded kwa Daniel 3 Daniel chapter number 1 verse 3 and 4 and 4 3 and 4 Daniel chapter number 1 verse 3 and 4 Daniel chapter number 1 verse 3 and 4 <coughs> Yes kama one gadoni ruse god bless you mimi sana sana pamoja jora anasema pamoja sana masi anasema together <laughs> joki dongo aliingia kabisa bida anasema pamoja kabisa everyone tumeko anasema pamoja aha sawa sawa wacha tuendelee ni yakina nani nebukenaza alikuwa anataka kutumia ni watu ambao wako hapa wamekuwa highlighted wana charisma tano number one. Daniel one ni 3 and 4 number one. Watu wa the they were upright young men. Watu wa na royal blood and they are nobles. Ebu majin. Watu wa mbao the akwa natumia watu mbao wanaenda GCR. Alikuwa anatafuta watu ambao wamesimama na utakatifu. Ebu majin. Na watu ambao ni royal blood. Watu ambao kwa ndani yao wana seed of greatness. So alikuwa anachukua ile greatness yao anda ileta kwa falme aitumie ebu imagine maneka they are royal ni watu ambao wana seed of greatness anaita watu ambao wana seed of greatness and take advantage of them then on out to me in his kingdom and i declare in Jesus my name no one will take advantage of your greatness ah i see again no one will take advantage of your usayona kuna watu ambao wana take advantage ya watu kwa sababu unajua kwamba hii area Mungu amekuinua mtu anakumtu anakuchukua anakutakia advantage and benefit na your wisdom and benefit na your greatness and benefit na your knowledge i want to declare watu wa dunia hawata benefit na kile ambacho unafaa ku benefit come on are you listening to me so that's when nebukaneza alikuwa anataka watu ambao ndio are from the royal family see kila mtu a a watu ambao they are from the royal family watu ambao they are entitled for greatness akwenda kutoka ile greatness yao aitumia kwa ufalme wake may you enjoy your greatness au utatumiwa na watu wanakula pesa zako au utatumiwa na watu wana enjoy your gift and you're not benefiting from the gift au ta enjoy na watu wako ambao wanakusaidia watu wanakuajiri mahali pale wamekuajiri wanakula pesa zako hivyo na hawakusaidii na wewe mwenyewe unaweza kaa your business na ufanikiwe raino anatangaza kwa yote bado nisikiza gift yako lazima ikusaidie wewe si isaidie watu wale wengine kuna watu ambao they are not benefiting na their gifts but watu wengine wana benefit after this someone may your gift benefit you yes yes that's when nebukaneza si kila mtu alikuwa anachukua a a alikuwa anataka watu ambao they are from the royal family royal family kama na njoko ah watu they entitled for greatness naweza watumia so kila mtu si kila mtu alikuwa anatumia a a a a a a a mungu amekuumba vile amekuumba amekupia talent amekupia gift ili kusaidia in life but there are people come on even in the world of kingdom hey imagine kwa friend tuguna even africa tunatumiwa hivyo kuna mawe ya dhamana huku kuna vitu utajiri umejaa Afrika let me tell you but tunafinyiliwa we are not enjoying that that's why unakuta kwamba anatukua na vitu huku tunaita still watu wa nje wanakuja sasa kufanya ile maana kwenu watu wengine wana benefit even our coffee even our tea vitu vya dhamana tuko nazo ni watu wengine wana benefit from them na baba ametupea the time is now god is raising africa tumepewa ushadhiri mkubwa sana brothers are benefiting from that wealth i declare utajiri wako hautatumiwa na watu kile ambacho baba ameweka in you wacha kiku benefit si watu wengine wa benefit na kile baba ameplant in your life ai Ah, usaiyo na boss amekuajiri na ni wewe tu unaweza fanya haya mahesabu but anakulipa kitu kadogo tu na ana benefit na zile pesa zote anapata it is because of you bali anakudharau anaweza kuingilia bali anakulipa kakeka tone tu kapesa awezi jisaidia maana they are benefiting from your greatness 
from today under the authority of God I am um, I am uh, speaking from a higher altar from the altar of the cross I am speaking from the throne of God mahari tumeka pamoja na Kristo in the heavenlies I want to declare ya kwamba watu wengine hawatakupokonya what belongs to you your greatness will help you your gift will help you your talent will help you I want to enjoy that that's why group ya kwanza ni watu ambao they are from the royal from the royal family come on imagine what about they are from the royal family ni wao wanatafutwa maana kwa hivyo ndivyo shetani wanafanya anapenda watu ambao wako na greatness ah hata unaweza wajiri aita na loza labo shalaba woo that's it that's it that's number one. Number one watu ambao from the royal family. Then number two angalia number two angalia kanistari sika watu ambao walikuwa wanataka number two. Yang, 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 nisikize. Yang. Yang, Yang, young man who had no defect. Young generation. Hakuna nataka watu ambao ni old. Hakuna nataka young generation. Em Muhammad Yang. Alikuwa anataka kutumia watu young. Yes. Yes. That's why even today shetani anataka kupokonya sisi watu young. Mhm. Mm That's why ni watu young. Sikuizwa na kamata na pornography. That's why ni generation ya watu young. Wanakamata na videos mbaya. Young. Anatafuta si aku anataka watu old. Anataka watu yangu watu ambao wanaweza shika mambo kwa haraka, watu wanaweza fanya mambo kwa haraka. Watu ambao wanaweza spread knowledge, nisikize, anataka watu young awapande knowledge ya Babylon. Kwa sababu watu young akiwapanda, amewawin hata wakoo wakubwa. That's why alikuwa anataka generation ya watu young. And want to declare to kwa mahali hapa, generation ya watu young aitaharibiwa in Jesus mighty name. That's why we are praying. We need him even young people, even kwa government. We need young people even kwa politics. We need young people ada kwa ministry. We need young people even kwa gifting, kwa ibaji, even kwa mipila, kwa kukimbia. We need generation young itumike in the kingdom of God. But to make a watu yangu kutumika in the kingdom of satan watoto wameibiwa watoto wameibiwa wameingizwa kwa nasa watoto wameibiwa unaburu kama ni katoto kadogo baraka na jua generation ile mbaya 15 to 20 generation nebukenaza alikuwa anataka watu young ah that's why nakuta kwamba tu three queens tunachukuliwa na huku watu dada anaweza kuwa dada mzuri sana kwa kanisa anachukuliwa eh anachukuliwa eh na mzee wa 82 years na kastana ni katwetuan alafu naniambia kwamba it does not matter hae <laughs> who come to that another day ah watu wanafikiria differently sana mtu wa 21 mtu wa 21 na mtu wa 82 hawafikiri the same no 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 wewe anasema tunafanya hivi akanasema kwamba hapana so watafikiria tofauti sana It is my prayer tonight Yakaba we are praying for the young generation We are praying for young generation Yes tunaombea mpaka watoto wetu Maneke watoto wametekwa nyara Mfalme Nebukadnezar alikuwa anataka yang watu yang na sio hivyo hawana defect. Ibu maji amaweka defect. Sababu anaweka mafundisho mabaya. And that's why today kuna generation ambayo mafundisho mabaya. Na sio kuna watu ambao wanasema kwamba hakuna Mungu. That's it. Na sio kuna watu ambao wanafundishwa generation hii dogo wamefundishwa mambo mengine ambayo sasa kuwataja hapa mabaya sana. That's a generation. Why? Shetani anataka watu young before wa mature wakuwe na informed na mabaya. Wapo information mbaya. We refuse that. Na tume declare any demonic altar inakamata generation mbaya tumekataa. Mm. <laughs> Are you listening to me? Mzazi watu wananifuatia hapa nisikize. It is very important na huwa nasema ni vyema sana mtoto wako nisikize ni vyema sana mtoto wako. 
So kile kinanijenga how comes Daniel kwa 15 to 18 years by whom mtoto anasimama na Mungu na kumchanga meaning alikuwa amepoa foundation mzuri sana na mamake ndio inasema kwamba train mtoto wako akiwa mdogo mambo ya Mungu hata kwa mkubwa hata toweka kwa yale mambo that's why it is very important mtoto wako sikiza Mungu alikuwa anataka kuwa mpaka Moses kwa sababu hakufanya hakutahirisha mtoto wake maneno circumcision was a sign of covenant It was a sign of covenant. Mungu alikuwa ready kuua Moses kwa sababu hataingiza mtoto kwa covenant. Let me ask you today. Ni nini umefanya mtoto wako? Kuna watoto wengi wamepotea kwa sababu waliacha na wazazi. Kuna watoto wengi wamepotea kwa sababu waliingilia group baya. Hawakufundishwa mafundisho mazuri. I thank God for Hana. Mungu anasema kwamba kila mwaka alikuwa anatengenezea cover mtoto wake. Anampelekea nguo cover mto. Kila mwaka anatengenezea cover. Kila mwaka anapeleka nguo. Why? It is a covering. Alikuwa anapea yule mtoto. Now don't forget, alimtolea mpaka sacrifice. That's why believe it is very important kupeleka mtoto wako mpaka kwa church na kudedicate mtoto wako mpaka kwa ota very important mpaka kuchukua mpaka mali yako una dedicate mtoto wako mpaka kwa ota very important let me ask you mzazi hapo unanisikiza what have you done for your child what have you done for your children have you trained them kwa baba Mungu have you ever dedicated them I always told my wife I dedicate him toto before zariwe I always do that who anafanya kitu kwa mtoto I always me mwenyewe take as a sacrifice na pereka kwa ota kwa ajili ya mtoto wangu nasema god thank you If kuna kitu kinanijenga nataka unitegee hapa na hii inanijenga sana kuna mahali <laughs> kuna mahali kuna point moja inanijenga sana ilikuwa inafanywa wale bwana wa kikuyu understand mtoto akizaliwa kuna zile miwa tano if ni kijana au nne hivi ni msana zikuwa zinaletwa na kila miwa kuna ile gamiru kuna sema mia yo the maki you understand ya yeah, 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 the maki you understand eh? kuna hizo hizo the boldness So kuna yale maneno alikuwa ananenwa na kuna vile zile you understand I don't want to go deeper to that area but ile miwa ilikuwa inafinywa alafu mama na Jesho kale na ninika kanilika na kwa mpaka pale wae kale ka utamu then anatabiriwa yale ma, maneno if ni msana hizi zile ni nige minne na kila gambi kuna vile ilikuwa nasimamia so I, I, I like vile those things ilikuwa zinadikerea akiwa mchanga that's why it is very important mtoto wako mnamtabiria before kama tanga mgaga na huku That's it. Very very important. Mtabiria mambo speak something. Before I to work in a shosho washo gie mwana. Are we together? Mleta mpeleke kwa Mungu, watashogwe kwa Mungu, watabarikiwe kwa Mungu. Before fortana vijana bwa tumpeleke kwa mambo mabaya. Ni nini ulitamka? You are a prophet of prophetess ya wat- o- o- watoto wako that's why even Jacob bila nasema kwamba wakati ilikuwa kwa dead dead bed, by the way alita watoto wake then yale maneno alitamka akaja kutimia na sio iko bible watoto kile mzazi alikuwa anaongea tena mtoto kwa mchanga matters a lot let me tell you ni nini huwa naongea juu ya mtoto wako Are you, are you prophetic kwa mtoto wako wakati alizaliwa kuna kitu litamka whether you mzao kwa umetutaki au unataka whether huko unataka karibie au kuja huko unataka tagaza mambo mazuri sana then mpeleke kwa ota dedicate yule mtoto tafuta kitu mzuri dedicate kwa ota sema god father nisikize 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 hapa hana mwenyewe alipeleka bulls tatu bulls tatu naunga imagine bulls tatu naunga why akidedicate somewhere hakuamua na mtu kwa sababu ina kona so the law see you ilikuwa nafaa kutolewa ni kitu kingine tofauti maria alienda mpaka beyond and dedicate somewhere and that's why kwa nyumba ya hana na hana alikuwa na watoto wengine watano we don't know their names kwa sababu hatuoni hana akidedicate hao watoto wengine ama dedicate only huyu mtoto ambaye ni somewhere na kila mwaka anampelekea nguo cover 
Jua, you can provide you understand mtoto anaoprene na covers kadhaa kuna ile cover ya mzazi kuna cover ya spiritual father kuna cover ya church na kuna cover ya Mungu Are we together kuna cover ya mzazi cover ya spiritual father cover ya church na cover ya Mungu That's it So mzazi kuna cover anapea mtoto That's what is very important. Kuita mtoto wako na kumtabiria. Yes. Kumwambia kwamba wewe utafanikiwa. Wewe utende. Hai, napenda la mek. Napenda la mek. Napenda la mek. La mek wakati walijifungua mtoto Noah. Walimuita rest. Si Mungu alisema, "Ah ah, they give mtoto walipea mtoto wao a prophetic name." Wakamuita rest. Wasema kwamba you're going to comfort us from the curse of the ground. Ambao may affect kazi ya mikono yetu. Wali understand kazi ya mikono yetu imeaffectiwa. But wako promise yako ile mtoto wasema kwamba huyu mtoto atakuwa rest. Soma kwa Bible. We vile watoto wametangaziwa inakuwa hivyo. It is prophetic. That's why napenda Jafida. Jafida although alizaliwa kwa NASA, mama yake alimpea prophetic name. God you open. All about us. There is on why watoto wengi sana wanapotea kwa sababu hakuna maneno alitamkwa. Talk about Dina. There is on why Dina alirepiwa. Get this. Hakuna neno prophetic. Ah! Hakuna neno prophetic alitamkwa. No where. Tisa ni sababu kwamba wacheni watoto waje kwangu. It is very important. If kwa Old Testament under the rule, if kwa Old Testament under the rule, walikuwa wanapeleka kitu kwa hekaro. What about us? Watu wa wa New Testament. Tafuta kitu enda naye kwa church, dedicate mtoto wako. Aliko hao kufanya you can do it even now. It is not too late. I'm your father father. Huyo mtoto nimemdedicate kwa this altar. Huyo mtoto hata photo na pombe. Huyo mtoto hata photo na Nebuchadnezzar. Huyo mtoto hata photo na NASA. Huyo mtoto hata pata watoto hapa vile nilipata. Huyo mtoto hata photo na jina yake. Tangaza. Why Nebuchadnezzar alikuwa anataka generation ile yangu. That's it. Ndis, nilifiri vibaya sana wakati niliona kwa TV <coughs> mara ugani ya brief hii ya anajua sana anaokuwa kwetu ngadi <coughs> watoto wadogo sana wengi sana wakao kuonekana kuwa na mimba kule kagodoini That's a question. <clears throat> Nini nimefanya kwa mtoto wako? Nilisema kwamba the word train there means to instruct or dedicate. To instruct or dedicate. Hebu imagine mtoto wako. Ara before jifungue yule mtoto amezoea nyimbo za nini? Za rumba. <laughs> Aunjo kama zile nyimbo unapenda kusikiza sana. Ukoo mjamzito katoto katapenda hizo sana. Na mkipita mahali ile wimbo ulikuwa unasikia sana kiwadani. Unasikia kwamba kitingiza utaona kitingiza kichwa hapo. Eh? Na zaid. Yes. Still ni mtoto kwako. Still ni mtoto kwako. Still ni mtoto kwako. That's the thing. Still ni mtoto kwako. Me I always do that. Nilimwambia hapa I always dedicate him to tangu time ya birthday yake. <laughs> I always do that. Every time ya birthday yake na time mwingine na feel like I want to do that. Mungu akinihimiza I always do that. Not not only mtoto wangu and also my marriage. I do that. I take something as a sacrifice. Na ibreka tu pale na be God I dedicate my marriage to this altar. In a pain because of my marriage. In a pain because of my ministry. In a pain because of my business. It is good to dedicate mtoto wako your marriage and not so your business. Tuko pamoja linet. <laughs> That's it. Nabukaneza alikuwa anataka 
watoto ambao ni ya My question tonight ni nini umefanya juu mtoto wako before you complain Before you sema kwamba mtoto wako umeharibika ni nini umefanya Umempea nguo kila mwaka kama unawaita unawatambulia unawaombea wait out a call ita watoto wako watu wait out a call wacha kukoja time unakaribia kufa hiyo ndio time utawaombea no call them waombe declare things before wachai watangaze before wenye wivu watangaza mambo ambayo juu watoto tangaza those words are you hearing what i'm saying We want to see watu bwana jua kutangaza kile kimeandikwa kwa Bible. We want to see declarations of sums za mtoto. Kuna verses ziko kwa Bible zinaongeza juu watoto. Declare those verses. Hi. Hello. Acha nitoke hapo kwa sababu That's a thing, that's a thing. Sasa nitoke hapo kwa sababu nimeona watu wengi sana vile hapa tumeanza kuogaliana. <laughs> Na nataka nifuate hapa very serious ile hapa. Another thing, nisikize sasa. Alikuwa anataka watu wabodhi ya good looking. Imagine. <laughs> Alikuwa anataka watu wabodhi ya good looking. Na ni kweli, wasiwa ndio ni kweli. Ni kweli. You know that you can you listen? <laughs> Are you still listening to this? What good looking? Na ni kweli? Angalia, ana wacha na wala wazuri. Tukuta kwamba ni wao wa Melevia. Unakuta tu sana tu zuri. Eh? Hmm? Tunajiuza tao na shida aka kamekosa nini? Kwa sababu Nebukadnezar alikuwa anataka watu good looking. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> still. Alikuwa anataka watu ambao wako na wisdom discerning na knowledge au natumia watu wa vyo vya watu ambao wana knowledge wana discern imagine imagine this is a fact shetani anataka kutumia watu ambao wana knowledge angalia mpaka watu ambao wanaenda kwa devotion imagine Parodi. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> anataka hivyo, those are the characteristics. Anataka watu ambao ni royal family, watu ambao ni young, watu ambao they are good looking. Eh? Si mnajua, tumeza una utakao kachana kako kazuri. Nako ndio niko kwa Facebook, kanaweka zile picture funny. <laughs> Na ni kizuri but kana nini? Kameibiwa, kanatumiwa. Imagine. Ten, watu na wisdom. Watu ambao wana knowledge. Unasikia huyu mtu ni mwelevu na shida guy. Huyu sasa bwana amedanganywa. Na ni mwelevu. Imagine. Nebukadnezar alikuwa anataka watu hao. Na hivyo ndivyo mpaka wa leo shetani anapenda hao watu. That's it. Ten mtu mwisho what a mother were able to serve in the king's court able to serve kwa hivyo anataka alikuwa anataka watu ambao they can serve <laughs> was serve kwa kingdom yake what a mother can serve was serve kwa kingdom yake so kuna watu aina tano nebukadnezar alikuwa anawataka watumie our divert awatumie hakuwa anataka mtu wa viovia au father zaid Eh hey, naona watu wameniangalia hivi wamenyamaza. <laughs> That's a fact. Haya mambo ni ukweli. Mnajionea haya mambo yanatendeka. Very important. Uh, imagine kama ni mtoto bali ni mtoto mwelevu. Na nimwambia mpaka leo kuna cartoons zinatumika ku capture mind za watoto. Na don't forget kwa nini alikuwa anataka hao watu watano? Alikuwa anataka ili wafundishwe knowledge ya kibabelon ofunishwe na kunielewe how to be also kutumia mambo ya <laughs> kutumia mambo ya occult things 
Kwa natumio mtumio mambo ya, ya Babylon. Raho nisikize hapa. Ya. Yeah. Nimesema kwa ni cartoons. By the way niliona cartoons zingine funny. Unakuta kwa ni cartoon. Bado unakuta kwa kakianza ka shimo inafunguliwa. Kanaenda underground. Kanaenda underground. Then kanaanza kooperatia kwa underground. Imagine. Kanaanza kooperatia kwa underground. Unakuta kwa kuna kuta kwa tu twingi sana. Tuna mermaid tuna tu skeleton tutoto tunawana unakuta kwamba kuna katuni tutoto kile tunatusiana imagine na unaona ni zile zinaikuwa watoto sababu zikine ni demonic there so many of them wanataribu ku program mind ya watoto Ebu maji na wewe hakuna kitu unafundisha yule mtoto. Hauna tamu ya kufidi yule mtoto ambaye mzuri na hata Bible. Na amekuwa the whole day akiwatch cartoon. Na zile cartoon na watch. Kuna zile mzuri na kuna zingine mbaya. That's it. Walikuwa nafundishwa mafundisho kwa Babylon, wabadilishwa the way of thinking. Literature of Babylon ni madirisha mawazo then not only that language of Babylon remember when on get kihibirania maneka the way hebrews when on get kihibirania but when the foolish language of Babylon the way vile wanaongea wabadilishwe vile wanafikiria wabadilishwe na vile wanaongea wabadilishwe maneka shetani akitaka kukuin anabadilisha mawazo na vile wanaongea Mambo mawili where you think the way you speak language yako that's when naambia watu bwana nisikiza change the way you think usifikirie kama watu wa kidunia ah uh-uh. zile vitu za juu fikiria hizo usiongee kama watu wa hoja wakoka ongea victory ongea hearing language yako si kama yao we una language tofauti we have our father's language from heaven that's it We have that language speak it. Dikira familia kwa imebarikiwa. Ah. Can you listen to me now? Change your language. Usiongee language vile watu wanaongea. Usiongee vile watu proto wanaongea. Ati watu wakisema kwamba utakufa na unasema utakufa. Come on. That's not your language. Language chako ni sema kwamba utaishi. That's your language. You need to listen to this. And right now paka ko videos mingi sana. At advert ziki mingi sana ziko huku. Zina change mawazo ya watu. Nebuchadnezzar alikuwa anataka kubadilisha mawazo. The way you think, that's why even the gospel you listen matters a lot. Maana kama mawazo yanatajua, then the way language yako the way you talk. Then after that anabadilisha majina yao the identity. Can you hear that? They are thinking literature, their language vile wanaongea and their names identity. Their character. Maana kijana anaongea about character or identity. Wanabadilishiwa majina yao. Listen to this. The way they think literature vile wanaongea language identity or character majina yao na hivyo ndivyo shetani anafanya anabadilisha mawazo yako anakuonyesha you cannot make it anakuonyesha kwamba huwa unafikiria mama maya those things hello That this is my question tonight. Jina yako imechenjiwa au haijachenjiwa? Takonitege hapa. Daniel, Hanania, Mishael na Azaria. 
wakabadilisho majina yao character the identity know who you are in Christ know your language the way you think mambo matatu very important na unisikiza that's why morogena that's true that's why majina ya kina Daniel yalikuwa yanabadilishwa wanapewa majina wanabadilishwa majina yako connected na God wanapewa majina connected na miungu maana kwa walikuwa natolewa connection yao wanakuwa disconnected from Jehovah wanakuwa connected to gods imagine maana kwa yale majina walikuwa nayo ni majina ambayo yanawa connect na Mungu let me give you a very good example i give a very good example for example the name Daniel the name Daniel God is my judge Daniel God is my judge then akabadilisha kwa Bertisaza 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 akapoa Bertisaza in manisha who bear protects or favors yani ati now it is not about god it is about bell miungu mingine ana connection na miungu mingine that's daniel what about hanania hanania means grace of jehovah or favored of jehovah or beloved of the lord that's hanania akona grace of jehovah akona favor of god mtu ambaye anajua kwamba ni si Mungu anampea favor that's Hanania ni Mungu anampea favor bali anabadilishwa na poa jina anaitwa Shadrack Shadrack Majin Shadrack means what si jina mzuri hata kidogo inamaanisha namna gani illuminated by the sun god or inspired by the sun god hata yule bana mu inspire it is not about grace It is not about favor. It is a son God. Anapewa jina na mkono wake na miungu mingine. Imagine. Akani kama Michel. Michel means who is like God. Who is like God? Imagine. Who is what God is or who is like God? Nani kama Mungu? Imagine. Mara sasa hapa tunaona kwamba Michel anapoa Mishek. Mishek means what? Who is like Venus? Imagine. Who is like Venus? Ana connectiwa na miungu mingine. Majina yana badilishwa, the identity. Angalia mtu kama huyu mwingine Azaria. Azaria means the Lord is my help or help of God, help of Jehovah, help of God. Help of Yahweh Azaria ni jina mzuri sana kupea mtoto Azaria Alafu anaitwa Abednego Abednego servant of Nego or servant of Nab God of wisdom God is gine of wisdom Imagine Wana haya majina hao yalikuwa na connect na Mungu Bado wanapoa majina mengine yanawa connect na miungu can i surprise you i this is this deep but let me surprise you ukichukua the more the name daniel ukichukua the name hanania mishairi na azaria lakini unitegea na unisikize hapa ukichukua daniel uiandike daniel in hebrew in letters that's it then number two Uangalie Hanania ukiandika letters in numbers. Azari in numbers ukiad Daniel. Hanania, Mishaeri na Azaria in Gematriac. Inakuja 888. Ukiad Daniel, Mishael, Hanania, Azaria au majina manne uya and kwa Hebrew letters nao kwa numbers utastukia sababu hayo majina yana add up to 888 and 888 is Jesus Hello meaning what wao wanaoshikana Jesus anaonekana 
That's why majina mbayo kiaand in Hebrew. Ya na adab tu 888. No wakibadirishwa. Inatua ina, ina kitukimbaya. Wanabadirishwa. Berenu wakikonnect. Jesus anaonekana. Don't forget that we are from the tribe of Judah. Don't forget that. Then we are told the reason why I am a Jina. Ukia connect and let a Jesus. Because then we are from the tribe of Judah. Now from Judah, Jesus Christ are the one So then we are connected to Jesus. That's why they are from the tribe of Judah. So in them, there was a seed of Christ. In them, there was a seed. Allah Boko. Mana ke Jesus and talk from the tribe of Judah. That's when Nebuchadnezzar and Gunad Kutumia what from the tribe of Judah. Mahali Jesus at Atokea. <laughs> ah. Hi. You need to understand that. That's why kuna badilisho majina yao. And listen to me. Na unisikize. This one is very important here now. Do not eat and every time. Wao walikuwa na jita. God is my judge or God judges. That's Daniel. Na rao nitege. Wao wakijita, hawako na jita. Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego. Walikuwa na jita ya majina Mungu amewaita. Dango Daniel alijaribu walijaribu kubadilisha Daniel jina bara haiku stick. Woo! God is any time Mungu alikuwa anaongea na wao. Mungu alikuwa anaongea na majina yao harisi, Mungu alikuwa anawajua na majina yao harisi. It is my prayer. They may try to change your name. But hawataweza in Jesus name. Hawataweza. That's why majina they are very powerful. Ita mtoto wako jina mzuri. I believe my jina na kwa dedicated. I dedicated my name. Maraka my name the, the majina yangu <laughs> mawili kikuyu the, the, si mazuri sana. Karaja na Kenodia ni majina ambao si mazuri sana. I had to dedicate those names. Hello. Listen to this. So Nebuchadnezzar na badilisha mind. Are we together? Language, then identity character. Hang on, excuse me. Then na badilisha their this is very important. And na badilisha their diet. And na badilisha their diet. And don't miss this one. Ah, na na koni tege. What I, I thank God because of Daniel. Ah, uh, listen to this. I like this. Although I fundisho for three years, my fundisho ki Babylon. Hawako brainwashed. Hawako kubari ya mafundisho ya brainwash kiri wanajua. Hawako hawako brainwashed about the covenant. Hawako brainwashed about God. What fundisho about God? But we remain a God. How are brainwashed? No. What is stick and a kid or kwana jua? Although we had a shit for three years, then we are not brainwashed. Unas a foolish show happen to me, manake. Do you need a foolish show? Moming sana. Unas a foolish show, mama, my and a TV. Nini videos again. And a kwa YouTube. But let me tell you. Don't allow yourself to be brainwashed. Don't allow yourself. Walikuwa pale baba na fundisho mafundisho but they had Judah in them they had the temple in them that's why Daniel akiomba anafungua dirisha akirekea Jerusalem so although he was in Babylon Babylon was not in him in him there was Jerusalem that's why akiomba dirisha zinafunguka na direction ya Jerusalem still ako na Jerusalem dani still ako na temple dani still dani yake anakumbuka about Israel in Judah in, 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 in Babylon but Babylon is not in him you may be in this world but world I fight kuwa dani yako you may be in those situations and those issues but I fight with Daniel. Hey, come on! Are you hearing what I'm saying? This is the thing. Mark this and listen to me. 
walipewa nyama nyama gadis nyama nyama na wine badani akapapasa na hati yake hata kula nyama na hata kula wine ya babylon oh skize Na kuna skiza nataka nataka tuelewe hapa niingie dimba nake ita mimi nikibiza alafu nikuje kujibu swali jingine naiona hapa. God is and listen to me. Dani alikataa diet. Alisema hata kula ile nyama na hata kunywa wine ya Babylon ya mfalme. Akakataa, akadecide. Woo! Akapapas kwa hati yake. Kazo kwamba hati yangu imeamua hii nyama hii wine ya mfalme istakunywa akapopas now the question is bwana alikataa kukunywa na kukula alisema kwamba nataka ni vegetables that word vegetable there means seed ni plant inatoa seed so alikuwa anataka kitu kina seed ndani yake alisema sitaki nyama sitaki wine ya mfalme no i want vegetable nataka mmea uko na seed I connect myself na seed. Why seed? Kwani nataka kula kitu kiko na seed ndani maana seed is a word of God. Seed is a word of God. Rasho bagarama zopi karama zaya. Seed is a word of God. Get that? So kwani nataka chakula iko na seed, word of God. Why seed? Christ is a seed. So still Daniel kwa chakula yake anataka connect na Jesus kwa chakula yake anataka connect na word kwa chakula yake ndio so kwa I want vegetable the word vegetable there in Hebrew means plant with a seed seed remember in Genesis 1 Mungu aliumba mimea iko na seed ndani so anataka kitu kiko na seed why seed word of God why seed Jesus Oh are you hearing me now? Na so even today watu wanapewa diet mbaya. Video mbaya, vitu mbaya, diet mbaya. Now the question is this one. Nataka nisikize. Hasabu yeye mwenyewe aliamua na mwana, alimo hivi, sitakuwa defiled physically, sitakuwa defiled mentally, na sitakuwa defiled spiritually. Alikataa. Physically takula, mentally. <laughs> Shama garobo zekerima, alikataa. Why? 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 Ah. Ah. Are we together? If tuko pamoja ni mbitu pamoja ni kuonyesha kitu very interesting hapa. Kitu very very interesting. Don't miss this one. Don't miss this one. I want to show you the reason why Dani alikataa meat and wine. Very important. Kwa nini Dani alikataa meat and wine? Bwana alikataa meat and wine. Why? Why? Number one. The reason why alikataa uh, alisema hata kula ile meat ya mfano na wine. Why? One. Remember akina Daniel walikuwa from Judah. Na kuna zile chakula walikuwa wamekataza kukula na kuna zile chakula kwa mekubalisha wa kule so the reason why number one Daniel lazima kataa ni kwa sababu number one the meat we are not prepared according to the specification of the law given by God to Moses nako nisikize because Gentiles walikuwa na kula chakula zikiwa nyama ikiwa na damu dani Are we together? So if Daniel atakula ile nyama na haitatenge haijatengenezo in accordance to the law na Gentiles walikuwa naweka damu ndani wanakula pamoja. Meaning ata miss mambo ya Mungu wake. So chakula hazikuwa zinatengenezwa in accordance to the law. Kama na Gentiles walikuwa wanaweka damu ndani
Can you hear that? That's the number one. So hiyo chakura ya Gentiles ilikuwa na damu. Na Dani hako amekubalishwa kukula damu. So hagekubali. Number two. Gentiles miti zingine walikuwa na pika. They were unclean. Maana kikusoma kwa Bible in Isaiah 66 verse number 17 walikuwa na kula mpaka nguruwe. So it was not a problem kwa the boy kanaza kukula nguruwe maana Gentiles walikuwa na kula nguruwe. And there is no way Daniel angekula nguruwe. That's another reason alikuwa nakataa. Number three. Any time nisikize ile chakula mfano alikuwa na kula. In ito na Sundays. Alikuwa na dedicate to idols. Any time mfano anapoa chakula before atu akula ile chakula ilikuwa na tengo kiasi fulani before kule inapewa nisikize kwa miungu ili ati miungu ibariki ile chakula alafu akule can you hear that so chakula ya mfalme akipewa kama ni chakula au ni wine alikuwa naichukua moja before akule inapewa miungu inadedicatewa miungu ili sasa ati miungu ibariki chakula ili sasa akule meaning Daniel wangekula ile nyama iko dedicated kwa miungu na ni miungu imebariki ile chakula so walikataa that's another reason lazima wangekataa ile chakula ah another thing wali understand ya kwamba through eating unaweza ingia kwa demonic covenant another thing through communion unaweza ingia kwa demonic covenant unaweza connect na covenant zingine kukula kile unafanya hiki physically kinaweza change mambo spiritually remember the story of Esau Esau na Jacob ni chakula tu kile change mambo spiritually physically but it can change mambo spiritually You can covenant yourself through eating. Na so nabii watu wanasema unaitwa date, mnafanya covenant na chakula na mtu. At through eating mnakula pamoja, mnapeana hivi. Mnasema hivi tumekula pamoja, hata huyu achana. Unaingiza ukajiingiza kwa covenant. Na mkiachana if you don't break that covenant, inaweza inaweza ingilia relation to begin zinaweza kuja. Because of that covenant. Mnaka eating inaweza kuingiza kwa those covenant that's why walikata no akapapas wanataka seed <laughs> walitaka seed wasema kwa ruhusiwe waangaliwe for 10 days 10 days waangaliwe vile watakuwa na after 10 days wakaonekana kwamba nyuso zao zimechange maana kwa the word of god lazima ah nyuso zao zili change because of the seed maana kwa the seed of the word maana kwa christ as a seed lazima anybody atakuona ataona umechange uso you have the glory maana kwa the seed gives you glory she this christ in you and a manifest na glory wakira seed vegetables glory na manifest wanakuwa wazuri Ah hello <laughs> That's it That's why walikata chakura ya mfalme because of those reasons And after 10 days wako nika kuwa nzuri sana Na kuanzia hapo <laughs> wakaondolewa zile nyama za mfalme wakawa wanaletwa vegetables for three years vegetables three years na wakawa wazuri sana and because of that wakapoa promotion that's what happened wakapoa promotion but in his keys and kimariza don't miss this one kimariza Ah, manakali wa mwa kwamba hawatakula chakula nisikize. Waliamua hawataki ya mfalme. 
Bara wako ruhusi wetu watu wali persist. Sangu wacheni sasa si tu tujaribu na hii wako habarishwa. Mara wacha nimalizie haya mambo niseme hivi. Now from that story of Daniel. Kuna mambo kadha kadha tuko tunaweza soma pale. Kuna lessons kwa hiyo chapter tunaweza ona. Number one, Daniel was a man of prayer. That's it. Mtu ambaye ana persist, mtu wa prayer. That's number one. Daniel was a student of the scriptures. Kuna penda mambo ya scripture sana. Na alikuwa mtu principled. Anasimama na principles. See just like that, anasimama na principles. And because of that, chapter one ikiisha they were promoted na Mungu kabis na Mungu ya mwenyewe akawapea understanding kawapea wisdom mwingine hata Mungu grace yake kawa juu yao may you purpose in your heart you start with the seed you eat the seed and because of that yale mambo yalifanyika hapa utakuwa baraka kwa watu wengi sana na Mungu atakuinua in Jesus name in Jesus name Baba tunakupa sifa usiku leo asante baba kwa nguvu zako na uwezo wako asante kwa kile ambacho baba umetenda umetumenenea kwa jia kubwa umenenea maisha yetu umebadilisha mawazo yetu Jehova God Ume, umefanya tujijue sisi ni akina nani na baba sisi tumebarikiwa nyumba zetu zimebarikiwa familia zetu zimebarikiwa na maisha yetu yamebarikiwa hawa watu baba wamenifuata natangaza favor kwao oh baba natangaza hawa ni watu wa moyo hova go wanakula si neno lako ni watu wa moyo hova go wako na language yao mawazo yao ni tofauti identity ya baba wanajijua hawa ni watu ambao they are Jehovah from the royal family they are born of god tangaza fanda hawatakuwa manipulated they going to make it oka that's like daniel kile kilifanyika vile walikuja kuinuliwa i know these people baba atapata promotion utoinua wachawi hawatawaweza waganga hawatawaweza tangaza fever na milango kwa imefunguka in jesus name Amen and amen and amen. Are you are there. Ukitaka Yesu ingie ndani ya maisha yako. Sema Mungu. Naamini kazi yako ya msalaba. Na ninaamini ufufuo wako. Kwa ndio siku wa leo. Nimekiri kwa kinywa changu ya kwamba wewe Yesu ni mwana. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Na mimi nimeokoka. Baba hawa tobome katika uri kuokoka. I speak your favor, I speak your grace. Wapigania baba na washidanie. Na watende makubwa na maajabu. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. God bless you so much. That was chapter number one of Daniel. That was chapter number one of Daniel. Chapter number one of Daniel. Tomorrow to chapter number 2. Don't miss that one. Woo. Don't miss that one. It will be more than fire. Tomorrow. Daniel chapter number 2 Two. tomorrow. So, wale bwana wageni tunampenda sana wale wale bwana mara ya kwanza kuja hapo kutufuatilia mafundisho ya Bible tunasoma hapa. Ah uh, My number is 0726511782 Na wale bwana mzuri unasema kwamba tunataka ku support mpaka hiyo kazi unafanya pastor no problem we have even our team number uh, najua kwamba utaipata hapo Mungu amariki sana Mungu azidi kumuinua in Jesus name Kafura your Lord God bless you Peter unalikuwa huku <laughs> Evangelist Michael God bless you Jane Dama you bless Alpha greet Marikwa sana Ah uh, your coffee <laughs> thank you Ah wacha niona watu ambao tumekuwa na wife umekuwa pamoja na nasi hapo andika hapa ni kuona kidogo before to me Josephine Jerry God bless you 
Nasema kwamba amen blessed. Mora, thank you, thank you, thank you. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> I say what? Sara ibn nasema kwamba thank you, thank you Magige Thenji. Linette. Ah, tomorrow don't miss. Tomorrow Daniel 2 ni, ni very interesting. Daniel 2. Jerry, thank you names. <laughs> so say blessed. Ah, oh by the way, yeah, if you know offering yako au jakatazo na mtu This is your time to connect with the grace. No problem. You're offering your thanksgiving. Some of you may be cure son. Ah. Wacha ta mini sacrifice this to God. It is open. Then for Mark, how are you doing? Wasuka the little. God bless you so much. Shirwaruru. Yeah. James Minor. That's some of you sana. Esther boy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Abida. Names matters a lot. Angalia jina, na by the way. Angalia mtoto area watoto wangalia sana. Mary Adina, by the una see that zimu badisha jina. You can dedicate that name. Esto boy. Eh, gecho hi. Ne gecho hi. Ne gecho hi au ne gecho hi. Gecho hi. Purity George. Thank you Ruth Gadu. God bless you. Ah, uh, Mungu amariki sana. May the grace of God be upon you. We meet tomorrow. We meet tomorrow. Daniel chapter number 2 tomorrow Shalom and God bless you Yes 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 that's it more that's it eh hey. kwa alianzia na kamalizia yes Kuna mambo mengi sana baadhi ya majificha in the book of Daniel mambo prophetic mambo spiritual <laughs> nyama 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 itika leo. Ha. Hai dada, ita on next on me ya. Ah, ita mali. Ah, Mungu bariki sana ayo, God bless you and we meet tomorrow and shalom.